but she has a vision. You know, and, and when you get around visionary leadership, you know, in many of our institutions, we don't have visionary leadership. Um, and she's a tremendous advocate. I mean, she fights for what goes on in that school, fights for those children. She loves those parents. She's engaged in those children's lives. Great things happen once they, they get here because I think we're overcomers. And it's because of the heart and soul of the, of the staff members here, because of the heart and soul of the community. People know of the kinds of things that are going on and they're reaching out. She creates a home, they're a family. You know, she's sort of like the matriarch. And, and, and when, so when these kids leave home, they're going to a home. You know, in many situations, what they're leaving doesn't feel a lot like home. But when they get to school, it feels like home because they're loved, they're affirmed, they're cared for. Anything else that comes to the fore of what that child needs, that need will be addressed because that is Mrs. Farmer's mission. They're going to be cared for while they are in her charge. And one of the things that we try to do is to use the Wilford Family Resource Center to make sure that number one, we take care of their basic needs. And when you can take care of a hungry mama, when you can take care of a mom, a single parent that was living with a boyfriend and now is out on the street and we can direct her into a place to go and then tell her that this is not the plan that God had for you, but there are other things that can be done, uh, it makes a world of difference. Moving down to North Carolina and not having any family down here, um, being a single mom of an uh, autistic child, um, I was out of work for almost five months. I had moved out of HUD housing trying to provide a better house for my daughter, um, just trying to have a, a, a better life for her and I. I didn't qualify for the free lunch and I didn't have money to pay for my daughter's lunch. Ms. Farmer went into her pocketbook and paid for my daughter's lunch for the whole month. That's something that a principal doesn't have to do for a child that she doesn't know us personally and that's something that she didn't have to do. A lot of people didn't understand um, this disease or this handicap and she felt all alone in the kinds of things that she was trying to do with her child because she has a dream. God gave her a special child. But when Anaya first started at Williford when she was in kindergarten, the jargonic speech, she, we didn't know where she was going to go and how she was going to end up in life. And now Anaya is full of life. Can't tell that she has a disability. Words can't express how thankful I am to the teachers at Williford. We work with the parents. We work with the children. We recruit volunteers in the community to come to Williford and, and work with our children who are in need. We have parenting classes. We have um, job readiness classes. We've garnered different partnerships, uh, like with Word Tabernacle. Our children used to worry about whether or not they would have book bags or paper, uh, whatever, and we don't have to worry about that. Hey, the first day of school, every one of my children get their book bags, pencil and paper, and during the course of the year, it's replenished. Uh, they didn't have underwear, but we have underwear now as a result of Leadership Rocky Mount, as a result of some of the other local churches here. But we, every year we try to take a little bit deeper. And so, for example, within the congregation, we had uh, barbers and beauticians. And so we were trying to provide haircuts and you know, let them get their hair done and things like that. Really wanted to holistically be able to meet the needs of our young people so they could go back to school and get a, just a good launch, a good start, feel good about themselves, have good esteem. You know, not start the school year with not having supplies and not having resources and, and for teachers not having to worry about it. And I think the people that, that put their hands in this school realize that they do make a difference. And if, if they waver on thinking they do make a difference, that's her mission to make sure that they know exactly what they have done and the difference that they've made with our children. There's hope for our children. There's hope for our parents. There's hope for this community because we do the things that need to be done to help a person get on his or her feet 
so that they can become a contributing citizen. The mission of Wilfer Elementary School, Unite with Families and Communities, is to work together to empower students academically in a safe and orderly environment that develops character and citizenship. We talk about leadership. She has all the qualities that a fantastic leader needs. All of the things that have been said about her being compassionate, about her being loving, resourceful, persevere, it is rolled into one absolutely wonderful woman. She knows that you only have a child's mind for a short period of time. And that time is sort of fleeting uh, for the amount of time that you have to be in that person's life. Uh, because she's a nurturer and she's a lover and she's a people person. Uh, she puts all that together. And I think that's what kind of gives her the level of success that she's had in the education field. Uh, is that she's a lover of people, a lover of children. I think my life's been changed from Ms. Farmer's influence by her spirit. Just um, her attitude toward children and their families, it's contagious. And um, you get tired. You get tired at this job. And um, I think I've made it longer than I would have had she not been in the picture. I kind of came to Willowbrook at a time when I thought that I wasn't sure if I was going to continue in education or not. I was very discouraged. Probably the most impact that Ms. Farmer has had with me is to remind me and to show me the power that a teacher has and the difference um, that you can make with children. I'd like to be remembered as a child of God, someone that has lived her life being obedient to God, trying to help others, following his commandments, and just realizing that it's very important in this life to give back, to love, to care, to try to understand. And I just want to know that I made a difference in doing so. Uh, so when it's all said and done, if you stand over my coffin and you say, Sandra was a good person, she loved the Lord, she tried to do the right thing, then I think that my living would not have been in vain because I would have helped someone along the way.